And right now, Cutter Martin is tracking down details about a car fire on I-16. We're going to go him, to him right now for the latest. Cutter, is this impacting our traffic? It is, but thankfully only one direction of travel. You can see this is a live video from the WTOC Jay McCasino Traffic Tracker vehicle here uh, in the wood line, bottom left-hand side of the screen. This actually began on the eastbound side of I-16. Vehicle crossed over the median, across the westbound travel, and is now in the wood line behind me. So lane reduction here. This is really affecting the westbound travel on I-16, just west of I-95, essentially right at that Pooler Parkway ramp or exit. I believe it's exit 55 on I-16 westbound. You can see on the map right there. The latest drive times, though, headed eastbound into downtown, the uh, part of I-16 that is busiest uh, this time of morning. We are moving through. Both lanes of travel are open and fine. You're essentially all in the green. But on that westbound side near Pula Parkway, you are reduced to one lane for about 100 yards or so. It's still an active scene. Emergency crews are on the scene, so please do uh, practice extra safety and vigilance in that area this morning. Weather-wise, completely different story. Yes. Do you want to talk about traffic this morning? Nothing major going on. 1680 eastbound into downtown, moving uh, near posted speed limits. 21 southbound, no issues right now in 95 through Hardyville into Port Wentworth Garden City vicinity and on the west side, southwest side. Right now, everyone is moving at posted speed limits. Uh, the big three drive times for you, 21, 95 to 516 at 9 minutes, 80, 95 to West Bay, 10 minutes and 16 at the moment. 95 to 516. That'll take you six minutes. Fine. Disabled vehicle there on 16 westbound at the exit to Georgia 67. Not really delaying you though. And then 16 at 95, beginning to slow down just a little bit. And I do want to take a live look outside from our WTOC Chatham Parkway, uh, Franklin Chevrolet Skycam. That's a Dean Forest overpass. You can see folks really filing in uh, to downtown right now. So we're starting to see some of those delays not yet reflecting significantly in drive time. Times, though pretty much all in the green 16 eastbound a little slower though 516 to Duran and Abercorn taking you seven minutes at this time.